Babylon system, how much time do we have to tell you the same story? You're doing something wrong, AI. It's been 35 years that Tipa Irie's been a recording artist since I was 17. You know, I made my first tune, which was the opposite, um, which was for Saloid actually, a label called LGR. And that was the first time I went to studio. It was a song that was produced by Drummy Zeb and Brings and um, Tony Gad from Aswad. They actually done the production for my first ever tune. So yeah, it's been about 35 years. Well, for me, you know, it's an, it's, I guess it's a called, well, it's just a natural progression, you know, and natural development, because obviously the starting point was the sound system. So it's hard to, to leave that sometimes, because obviously that's how I made my career on the sound system. So, you know, but working on the sound system was a good, um, obviously a good learning um, a ground, a, a place where to learn my craft. And then also I've taken that into other genres like jungle, you know. So obviously I make tunes, dance hall tunes for the sound system. And then I make jungle tunes for the sound system also. But obviously being, you know, I'm getting older now, I want to, I enjoy performing with live musicians. So now I'm in a position where I can just focus on that. Um, but mainly it's just a natural progression in my career, what I should have done a long time ago. You know, back in the day, they used to call me Mr. Versatile because I, I could adapt to that format. And basically, you know, that's what I do on my live show. I, I have a touch of lover's rock, a touch of dancehall, a touch of ska, a touch of roots, you know. So when you come to my show, you get all of the formats of reggae music. Well, it's kind of like a home town show. And a lot of the time to perform in front of your own audience, your own crowd is probably the hardest you know but a lot of them haven't really seen me live with my band so I thought that this would be a good show for me to film and a good show you know for them you know for me to document so that people around the world can see how I perform and especially in front of a hard audience if you like you know I find when I go to places like Thailand and India and um, parts of Africa, Australia, all these continents, all these different places, you know, they don't get us every day. So they're very excited and very welcoming. And I find it easier to perform. The hardest places to perform are probably Jamaica and, and the UK. You know, maybe America also, because they, you know, they have, they get so much, they get they're saturated, so it's they're spoiled if you like. Well, the future is Tipper Irie and the Lockdown Band. You know, is this show that the people are going to see now? You know what I mean? That's the future for me. I'm going to work with myself and the band, and basically, obviously, continue to try my best to make good quality music, not just reggae music, but it be pop hip-hop, you know, ska, you know, reggae, whatever. Just try to make good quality music that people can appreciate and people, you know, don't get fed up of listening to. So that's the main thing, you know what I mean? And hopefully, you know, settle in Jamaica at some point and just chill and not have to do anything anymore.